A few weeks ago, researchers from University of Leuven in Belgium discovered a major problem, the crack attack. This attack makes it possible to spy on or even take over most of the current Wi-Fi devices. In this video, I will show you how to solve this issue for our ESP devices. Grüezi YouTubers, here is the guy with the Swiss accent, with a new episode around sensors and microcontrollers. Most of our Wi-Fi devices, including our ESP8266 and ESP32, are vulnerable to outside attack. If you do not use your ESP devices for your door lock, this might not be a big issue for you. However, I want to show how you easily can close this crack hole. And thanks to our friends of Espressif, faster than many other companies. Just a few days after the official publishing of the crack paper, Espressif already updated their SDKs. Ivan also included the patch into a new release of the ASP8266 for Arduino IDE. He made it very simple for you to make your ESP8266 safe again. Just copy-paste this line from the comments and replace the old one in the Preferences tab of your Arduino IDE. If you go now to Boards Manager and search for ESP, you can select Update and you get the newest version of the library installed on your computer. All your sketches compiled from now on should be safe against the crack attack. Please keep in mind that you have to recompile and reflash all your existing devices. Of course, this is easier if you already use iotapstory.com. Then you just upload your newest firmware version to your app. The rest is done by your device. And keep in mind that you have to do this with all your computers if you use more than one for your ESP development. A last remark for the guys which are still on the 2.3 version. With this change you upgrade also to the 2.4 version. This has some new features and bug fixes, but it might also have some new bugs which were not there in version 2.3. So testing probably is a good idea. For the ESP32 it is a little more complicated. You have to remove your current installation and reinstall it from scratch. If you follow my video number 147 from minute 2.38 on, it will take you less than 5 minutes. You will also find a link in the description. And it is anyway good to update your ESP infrastructure from time to time, because it is still under heavy construction. I hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you. If true, then like. Bye.